Hello everyone and thank you for finding your way to the new channel. Hope you enjoy it. There'll be lots of experiments like the one you're about to see here, which will show you something that I can guarantee you've never seen before, which is an animated truck, or 13 animated trucks to be exact. Stop motion rather than full animation, I should say. Anyway, the trucks appeared in the first ever TV series in 1964. But that episode is lost, along with most of the others. There's only a couple of the much later episodes that have survived. The others are hidden away in the archive somewhere in the BBC. But we have the first ever Blue Peter annual, which features the Trogs as well. How close the story is to the original TV series, we may never know. But it does at least give us an insight into what the creatures look like and how they behaved. They were mischievous, but not bad is the uh, assessment in the annual, although they do kidnap Bleep and Booster. In the image you're going to see here, they were surrounding them, intimidating them, and they also hijacked their space scooter. So it's pretty serious stuff, I would say. Anyway, uh, the first annual is quite hard to come by now. Quite expensive, about 50 or 60 pounds at the moment. And it's really quite special, not just because it's the first ever, annual, but because of the quality of the artwork. In my opinion, it's much better than the later artwork. I'll show you an example here from the 64 book. Here's Spikey for the first time. And if we compare that to the 1977, the final annual, to me, the quality is nowhere near as good, but maybe it's just a different style. Maybe it's a rush job, I don't know, and maybe it's just personal preference, but I much prefer the earlier work. It seems much more in intricate and detailed. So this image caught my eye because it shows the trugs in a ring, showing them a full 360 degree rotation of them. I thought that's just crying out to be turned into some kind of animation turn out to be a lot more complicated than I thought. The first problem being that the images are very, very small. So the, the trucks are only about the size of a fingernail, as you can see there, which means the printing pattern really does get in the way. I tried various ways to get rid of that. In the end, there's a setting in the Epson printer, moiré removal, and if, that's, if I'm saying that right, but that did quite a good job of getting rid of it, but does blur the image quite a lot. So I tried various ways to address that using astronomy software which didn't really work out and in the end good old topaz gigapixel upscale with a sharpening filter did a very nice job of restoring it back to something we could work with so then it was a case of cutting out the images which again was more complicated than i expected because there's quite a few overlapping drugs so i had to sort of rebuild them and chop bits out and add them in in different places and that took a long time. There's the first eight, 13 in all. And then the idea was to put them into runway, which is fantastic software, which will interpolate between frames and I thought would make a nice smooth animation, but it didn't work as you can see. Not pretty. After a few more experiments, I settled on Power Director with a slight transition between each clip, and it gives us some kind of approximation to the movement. There's probably better ways to do it, but this is the best I could come up with at the moment. After that, it was just a case of choosing the best part of the image of the original artwork to use for the backdrop, remove the space scooter, cleaned it up, cleaned up the edges, added some extra bits in, cut out Bleep and Booster, cut out the space scooter to put it back into the animation. And a mere two days later, I'm ready to show you the one minute clip. It's, uh, it was a lot of work, but um, I'm sure I made it more complicated than it needed to be. And at least I've learned a lot along the way. And now I can go forward and try a lot more of these kind of experiments. So thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.